So we have got Google Ads extensions, why you need to use them, why should you care about them, and why you ought to be using it. It's because it makes your ads a lot bigger. You uh, hog even more real estate on the Google at the top. Doesn't cost you anything additional or extra. You can cram in more of your messaging, products, services, or anything you want to put up on Google. So why wouldn't you use it? You know, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just that sometimes people don't know how to use them, can't be bothered, they are a bit lazy, because it does take a little bit of time to set them up. But once they are set up, you don't need to touch them. It will just keep on running as long as Google thinks it is relevant to that search term which somebody is putting up and um, it's going to enhance the user experience. So hello to Sandy, Emily and everyone else who is watching. So in this case I put in, let's say, by iPhone 11. You've got these site links. See now how big this ad is compared to this one. I'm really surprised how small Apple's own ad is. Not put in description two even. But there you go. You've got your O2 headline one and two. Description, we've got two lines and your site site links, these are. So you've got a bigger big heading as big as the main headline and then two additional um, lines of text. So this ad looks a lot, it is lot bigger than this one, that one, and that one. And this is what I mean by using these extensions. Makes your ads a lot bigger, increases your quality score, ad rank, click-through rate, pretty much, you know, everything is heading in the right direction if you know how to use these properly. Same over here, we've got two site links and the three other ones. Now, these won't appear on all the ads. It will be only at the top. So the, the ad or the advertiser with the highest ad rank uh, will get to show these site links. Now, you can have up to a maximum of four site links over here. Now, there are other extensions as well, and I'm not seeing any over here. There you go. These are call outs over here. So you got four site links. You see how big this ad is. So this is what I'm going to show you how to put these in. So your ads become a lot bigger and you attract that click. Let's hop into our Google Ads interface. So got your plus blue button, add extension. Then you have or eight or nine, I think, and they keep on changing as well. And this is the new one, the lead form extension. That's why it's 10. Site link, call out, structure snippet, call, location, price, app, promotion. If you are not running an app campaign, then this doesn't apply to you. But the two most important one, which I would always start with is the call extension and the location extension. You must, must, link your Google My Business page to your Google Ads account because when somebody is searching for restaurant near me, Google is going to look at your Google My Business page and then it will work out, okay, how far that advertiser, that searcher is away from your uh, restaurant or your store or whatever. So this is truly a must. Let's do the easy one, call extension. Now, all of these can be set up at account, campaign, or ad group level. So if you've got a fairly small business and pretty much all the extensions apply to the whole account, then I would just set it up over here and then forget about it. But if you've got some extensions which are relevant to certain campaigns only, then you apply to those campaigns or perhaps to those um, ad groups. So you can create new or use existing one. I'm going to create new. 
and you choose your country now it is not available in all the countries but the ones which are available you will see them in this list and I'm going to put my number and call reporting is turned on and I'm not going to go into conversion tracking and conversion setup but that is from there so I want to make sure that I am tracking all the clicks from my ads so somebody clicks on my ad as a call button I know that it has come through my ad and it is being tracked so this is why we set this up you can go under advanced options so let's say you want to run this call extension from your opening to the closing time which could be let's say 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. then it will only run during those times not at any other and you can select the days the Monday to Friday or on the weekend and that's your call extension set up with site link it is kind of like creating a mini ad on this extension so we saw we had a headline and two lines of description right so the same thing will apply over here the headline will be 25 characters and the description one description two is up to 35 characters and then a final url one thing you can't do is send all of these to the same home page or the same url it's got to be different if you so on my website we've got different pages for google ads web design video photography and so on if i'm talking about google ads can see can say best can see or count campaign something like that now you notice that i have not put in or put up the capitalization on each of these words which we always do in in the on the ads what you want to do is to because this is kind of like a subheading you don't want to um, make it too obvious and it doesn't read right or look good but it's, it's fine if you just have the first letter as the capital even though over here they have not utilized the capitalization properly they should have but overall this ad looks good they've got all the various pages or call to actions as well you can put in a call to action buy now book now free consultation or whatever it may be in these site, um, uh, site links now what you want to do is you don't want to just put up four you want to put up at least six to eight because then Google is going to pick out the most relevant ones for that ad so if you just put in four you're more likely to get a maximum of two site links uh, being shown you won't get three or five four is the maximum obviously but they'll either show two or four I've never seen three site links being shown so it's best you put up more set them all up in one go and it's all done and dusted you tinker with it okay I'm gonna cancel this go to a couple of other ones call outs are really good again account level campaign or ad group level so these are like let's say free cons I will use capitalization on there. What else could I open? Or it could be seven days a week. If you had something like a free trial for your software. Is free trial. Tell it correctly. Free parking is good. 
because then people can see that you've got plenty of parking and so on. So these are all the call outs which you don't need to have additional headlines description. It's just one line up to 25 characters. Cancel that. Structured snippets are one of my favorites because you have got lots of things you can put up. You can put up if you are a service based industry like we are. So we'll put up our service catalog, paper, click, Google ads. We can put in Facebook ads. So these are all your services, right? Web design. Videography, corporate photography. Nice and quick. It literally takes you seconds, and you'd always put these up. If you are selling brands, Nike, Puma, Adidas, and all of these, then put them up and make a list. Uh, you can have insurance coverage as well. You can have lots of things, um, courses, destinations. If you are a travel company, then you can say where you, you know, cover or travel to. So all of these can be put up. Location is your uh, Google My Business. So you link it and it's going to show up over here. This is another good one where you can make your ads really prominent by pre-qualifying your audience or that click by putting up your price. They can't afford $10. I don't want them to click on my site and waste my budget. So I could have service categories, services, products, and so on. 